Hey everyone, this is Edie Ann. I wanted to do a quick tip for you today. Um, I know that a lot of you have asked me in the past how I'm able to change flyers uh, with my own personal information, so I figured I would take a few minutes to show you how to do that. So if you're on Facebook and you find a flyer or a picture that you like um, that has someone's specific information on it, um, I suggest that you change it instead of forwarding it or tagging it or sharing it because uh, obviously that information is going to get shared on your page as well. So let me show you how to do this. If you find the picture you like, right click on it and select copy image. You don't need to save it to your computer like this, just copy the image and it'll be put onto your clipboard. Now what you want to do is you want to go out of um, Facebook and you want to open up your paint program. Now I'm not sure where your paint program is going to be located. If you got Windows 8 you might have to switch out to your uh, tile screen. Um, otherwise it's under accessories um, usually in the start menu. Anyway open up your paint program and now what you're going to do is paste which is in this left hand corner what you have on your clipboard and you'll notice that the picture is now on my paint program. So what I need to do is I need to delete this information. So the only way that I can do that is to select it so that the computer knows that that's what I want deleted. So I click and drag over the area that I want to delete from this particular picture. Once I've done that and I've released my mouse button, uh, clicking and dragging is just holding your mouse button down and dragging over the area, by the way. Um, you'll get your selected box. Um, ready to be edited or whatever you're going to do to it and then in this case we're deleting it so what we want to do is we want to hit the delete key on our keyboard and it will actually delete that box okay um, now what we want to do is we want to replace it with our own text so we need to hit the text button which is the A up at the top in the toolbar and then now reselect the area that you want to put your text in once you have let go of the mouse from clicking and dragging you can actually go in and put in your information, whatever information it is that you want to have on that flyer. And you might have to tweak it a little bit. Um, Paint is not a very forgiving program. Um, you have to be kind of um, creative, I suppose, because there's no like center button or anything like that. You kind of have to use spaces and that sort of thing. The other thing that it's not forgiving of is if at any time you click on the outside of this selected box, the text has been imprinted into that picture, which means you would have to reselect it, delete it, and re-enter the text. Um, however, at this point, you can actually click and drag the box as long as the, the selected box is, is selected, <laughs> um, you can click and drag it to move it around if you need to. Um, but once I click on the outside of the box, the text is imprinted into the picture. And if I were to edit this again, I would have to again click and drag uh, by selecting the area like this, hitting the delete key on the keyboard and starting all over again by hitting the A um, to insert text. Okay, so hopefully you found this uh, helpful. I will put a disclosure in here. Um, if you are a Sensi consultant, then you need to make sure that all of your flyers, pictures, and documents get sent to compliance at Sensi.com for approval. Once that's done, they're usually very quick um, at turning that around for you. Then you can go ahead and post it on Facebook. All right, hopefully you found that helpful, and I will see you on the next video.